my name is uh, Gilbert Di Paolo, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Columbia uh, in New York. Mm -hmm. And I'm also part of a center called uh, the Taub uh, Center for Research on Alzheimer's Disease and the Aging Brain. Wonderful. And uh, what about your particular research interests? I know you're a cell biologist, and you right. approach the issues from the cellular side rather than the genetic side. Right. So we actually, uh, we are indeed cell biologists. We have a, a great interest for uh, the research on lipids and uh, the lipids that are quite particular in that they're low abundance and they, they have very uh, interesting bioactive uh, uh, properties and uh, these are the ones that we think might be implicated in, uh, in some of the disorders that we study including uh, Down syndrome and Alzheimer's disease as well as others. Great, so you're involved in studying the link between trisomy 21 and Alzheimer's? Right, so we actually have uh, two, uh, at least two research programs, one of which focuses on Down syndrome and another one on Alzheimer's disease, and we have some, some uh, common denominators between these, uh, these two uh, disorders uh, through the study of genes that are, quite, uh, that are of interest to, to us in the lab. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are genes that, encodes, uh, that encode the proteins involved in the metabolism of, of lipids, uh, which we think is really uh, critical, uh, both for normal function as well as for, um, for disorders uh, such as those we study uh, when they are dysregulated. Uh -huh. Great. And, and so what do you think is the, the potential outcome of your research in terms of any sort of progress toward real treatments or toward clinical trials right. or treatments which you're involved so, with? So we have, uh, we've been able to uh, identify um, a gene uh, that um, codes for a, a protein that is involved again in the, in the metabolism of uh, lipids that controls um, a lot of uh, 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 aspects of synaptic transmission mm -hmm. and it is a gene that is uh, present on chromosome 21 and it's called uh, synaptogenin and um, it is uh, as a result of uh, trisomy 21 it is uh, overexpressed because it's, it is present in uh, three copies uh, just like the rest of the, the genes present on, on this chromosome 21 and as a result of these uh, uh, three copies it is uh, overexpressed which mean, means that the, the brain makes more of this, uh, the, the protein. And as a result of that, the, the substrate for this, uh, this uh, lipid enzyme is more degraded. And because it's more degraded, we think it has an impact on, on brain function in a way that is, uh, uh, might be affecting uh, perhaps uh, learning, uh, your learning and memory in, uh, in people with Down syndrome. And we actually have developed a number of uh, animal models. And this was actually a uh, collaboration involving uh, several uh, scientists working in the area of Down syndrome, whereby this, uh, we have introduced this, uh, a third copy of this gene in the mouse mm -hmm. and shown that uh, these mice actually have learning disabilities uh, similar to, uh, uh, to the ones that uh, are present in, in the broader mouse model of, of Down syndrome that contains a lot, uh, many more genes. And we think that by reducing the activity of this, uh, this uh, enzyme, this lipid enzyme, which is kind of uh, hyperactive in, in Down syndrome, we might be able to uh, improve uh, cognition in, a, in, a, in mice with Down syndrome and of course in the long run with people with Down sure. syndrome. Right. Uh, what is the long run, do you think? Do you have any projection of time? Uh, the long, it's a very good question. The long run depends a lot on the, 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 the funding yes. in a way uh, because uh, we have a very clear uh, plan of what has to be done in the next few years. Um, but uh, uh, sometimes it's difficult to, to obtain funding to do specific types of experiments. And of course, if we don't, if we don't, we actually um, we we don't make a, as much progress. It's very obvious. Sure. So um, assuming that uh, we have all the necessary means uh, to, uh, to to reach our goals, then in general, if we include all the clinical studies, it's never. Uh, sooner than 10 years or we have to think in the long run and unfortunately uh, that's, the, that's how long it takes to put a drug in a, in a human. Yeah, but when we think of the history of the research to this point, 10 years doesn't seem very far off. It seems like we're actually very, very close to making significant progress. Absolutely. There are, there are several, uh, specifically when it comes to, to Down syndrome, I think that uh, uh, a phenomenon that you see more and more in conferences is the actual discussion on the, on the therapies, results from clinical studies at a very early stage, and some promising results. Yeah, it's incredible. So, well, as you know, we're in the process of establishing a presence of the Lejeune Foundation in the United States. 
we're hopeful that the funding initiatives there will be successful, so possibly there'll be more funds available for your research and others to help move this along much more speedily. And that's very good news. Yeah.